Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So, I know some of you have been waiting, like, phone knows when is this project going to be done and over with? What's going on? Let's see it. So, here it is. So, I can't show you something where it's like half done. Can't do that. So, I just finished it today and guess who helped me? Of course, Shady Grady, SG helped me, which was good. If you heard a loud thump, that was my AC going off. Which is good because I sometimes your eye don't see what it needs to see. And you need another pair of eyes to see what needs to be done. And he was those pair of eyes. Plus he was my ladder because I could not get up there and put the bats up. I have my black mirror up there. And that same black mirror is going to be for another collab that I'm doing. That's a preview of my black mirror. And they're going to pat the cat and Gracie the heartbroken witch. You know, here's the story behind this tree. Um... You know, Pat the Cat and Gracie the Broken Hearted Witch. You know, of course, they don't like Christmas or any happy holidays. So she casts a spell on this Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is black. Um, yes, I did spray paint the Christmas tree black. She um, put a spell on it. As you can see her hands, she put a spell on my tree. It is what it is. The fabric that I use at the bottom for a cover is from Joanne's. So, you know, the pumpkin up there, it has the lights going. That's from Dollar Tree. And the bow is from Joanne's as well. And those bats are from Michael's. Um, the mirror and the cat are from Dollar Tree. And so is Gracie. So, getting back to the story, she put a spell in the tree and turned it black. So, in order for her to feel happy, she decked out her tree. And it turned out really nice. <laughs> So let me give you a closer look guys she turns a green tree into a black tree and as you can see she has the roses with the eyeballs in it and then she has these balls with the um, black and orange fillers in it up close of the pumpkin and right behind the pumpkin those are the ghosts going crazy and the bats are flying all over the place. They flew out the tree and they just all over the place. Um, here we go. The pumpkin himself is in the tree hiding. But he thinks it's okay. As she put a spell on the tree, things just started popping out everywhere. And that's what popped out. And it also popped out on this side. And then, hey, you got branches growing up the tree right behind the eyeballs. There you go. Okay. The eyeballs are all over the place. And they're also down here as well. There's a ghost. Hey, they go ghost daddy. I guess, you know, pimping ain't easy. He couldn't find him no ghosties, to, you know. So he, he's like in the cut in the tree. But he looks really cute in there. Hey, ghost daddy. What you doing in there, homie? And they are also the balls that I put the strings through and I also made these um balls I got these from Dollar Tree to put the black and orange um vase vase fillers in it vase vase everybody calls it differently so I added those fillers in there I didn't do too much when you do a tree you don't need to do too much you don't need to overload it I just got what it needed of course, the garland are the same garlands from the Dollar Tree. The silver one had the eyeballs on it. So I snatched the eyeballs off of it because it would be too much. And the orange garland had the pumpkins on it. So I took those pumpkins off of that and just let it be a orange, a plain orange and a plain silver garland. And it worked out fine. So here's the tree. And I also got the ghosts and the branches. The whole piece came together um, from Michael's as well. So, and this Christmas tree, I got it from eBay. It was a regular green tree, spray painted black. And there you have it. I paid only $20 for that tree because it was an off-season buy. <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty much that's it. I took the video this way instead of the other way so you can get the full effect of how everything looks. And as I go along, you know, each step of the house, I'm going to be doing more and I will show you those decorations as well. But I just wanted to get the hardest one out the way. And which I did. And thank you again Shady Grady for helping me. I appreciate it. Could have done, I could have done it without him. No I could have done it without him. Because like I said. I couldn't get up there. And he was my eyes to help me. So. 
Yep. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the bottom in the comments if you like it. You know, and um, let's chat about it. I also put this up on Instagram. So hey, if you want to see it on Instagram, so I was there. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.